AASHTO T119 and ASTM143 describe the procedure for determining the slump of hydraulic cement concrete. The equipment needed for this procedure includes a wheelbarrow, the slump mold and its base, a bucket of water, a sponge, a scoop, a tamping rod, and a ruler. Make sure to perform the procedure on a level surface. To begin the procedure, dampen the base and the inside of the mold as shown. Next, secure the mold in place by using clamps or by standing on the foot pieces. The mold should not shift or slide. Once the mold is secured, begin filling the mold in three layers of approximately equal volume. Use the scoop to place the first layer to a height of about 2 and 5 eighths inches. When placing a layer, always move the scoop around the perimeter of the mold opening to evenly distribute the concrete and prevent segregation. Each layer must be consolidated by rotting 25 times to evenly distribute the concrete. Make sure each rod reaches the base and slightly incline the rod to make the first 12 to 13 rods near the perimeter before spiraling in towards the center. Place the second layer to a height of about 6 and 1 8 inches. Rod the second layer 25 times, allowing the rod to just penetrate the layer below. While rotting, stop each downstroke when the hand is level with the top of the mold. Be sure to raise the rod completely out of the material on each upstroke and distribute the strokes evenly within the cone. In placing the last layer, be sure to heap the material above the mold. Rod 25 times as previously done. With each stroke, be sure to raise the rod completely out of the concrete and barely penetrate the previous layer. If the concrete settles below the top of the mold while rotting the top layer, make note of the stroke count and add enough material to keep the mold overfilled. Finish rotting the layer, beginning your count from where you left off up to 25. When the rotting is complete, strike off the surface with the tamping rod using a screeding and rolling motion. Once the surface is level, wipe the excess concrete from the base at the bottom of the mold, taking care not to let the filled mold shift or slide. Release the restraints on the mold carefully so as not to allow jarring or vibration. Grasp the mold by the handles, do not twist or shake the mold, and lift straight up. The lifting motion should be steady and smooth, raising it the full 12 inches in 5 plus or minus 2 seconds. After lifting the mold, set the mold upside down next to the displaced concrete, then lay the tamping rod across the top so that it extends horizontally over the center of the concrete. Measure the distance from the displaced original center of the concrete to the bottom of the tamping rod. Record the slump to the nearest quarter of an inch.